Caribbean Connections TV will bring the Caribbean and its flavors to our viewers in a fresh, vibrant way that will entertain as well as educate. It's your direct connection to the Caribbean experience. Caribbean Connections TV. Alright, I want to say what's up to Caribbean Connections TV, doing a wonderful job at every event in the city. I don't know how they do it, but congratulations. But tonight, a momentous occasion, we're inside the studios of Chin Radio and saying good night and goodbye for now to a legacy in radio in Toronto. The host, Jayo J. Maharaj of Chin Radio, we would like to thank him for his contribution, his mentorship to me and many other DJs in the city. We wish him all the best, but... A legacy has concluded tonight, the ending of the Caribbean Connection on Chin Radio 100.7, hosted by Jayo J. Maharaj. I want him to really succeed in all of his future endeavors, and uh, may God bless him. Here to capture your final night on the show. How are you feeling? Mixed emotions. Yeah. Did you cry yet? Not as yet. You think you would cry? Maybe. Well, that's what the camera's here for, no. so we can capture that. <laughs> no crying. All right. So here we are, Jai's final few minutes before he signs off for the last time. Um, craving connections. We're going to miss you, guys. Bye-bye. We miss you, and we will. We all miss him. All of his listeners, all of his fans, everybody here at Chin. Um, it's hard to come into the building now, now that um, I'm in this building often now, and Jai's not going to be here, which is weird. They used to come, and Jai would be here when I go visit many Lombardi or or Ali or something like that, but now he's not going to be here, so it's going to be really hard. Um, no more lives to air, uh, at least not at this radio station. So once again, we'll miss you a lot, Jai. It's bittersweet. Remember of the March of Dimes and putting it in a succinct manner, help. Do I need help? Hopefully not. All right, it's been a good run, and I want to say thank you very much to all of you who've been calling, all the listeners, in fact, and uh, we have touched so many people so many years, and uh, it's a pleasure, and it was a pleasure, in fact, being here on the Caribbean Connection and making the music and keeping you informed and uh, bringing true Caribbean life to the city of Toronto. And again, have yourself a great night and a great Sunday and we'll be talking to you soon. My name is Jai and I want to leave you in true Trini Caribbean fashion. This is Sounds of Kalyan. This was produced by Mr. Clyde McNeil and this is your last jam. We call it Tan Tan. My name is Jai. Thanks again. Yes. We did?
Caribbean Connections TV will bring the Caribbean and its flavors to our viewers in a fresh, vibrant way that will entertain as well as educate. It's your direct connection to the Caribbean experience. Caribbean Connections TV. I'm happy that I did it and I have to establish Caribbean music in the city of Toronto yes. and give it a level of um, professionalism and understanding and love from people and, and you know I'm, I'm glad I'm really happy that we did a good job and, and and most of all too the fact is to give Chin Radio a presence and the thanks to Chin Radio for the contribution they have always made to the Caribbean population and I know they will continue but I'm happy that I was part of it as well. Well, I know after speaking to Lenny earlier, yeah. when I asked him how he felt, um, he was very emotional. He was trying to hold back, but he said that he would really miss you. Like, and he meant that mm -hmm. from the heart. He would really miss you. And listening tonight, um, if, you know, if you didn't get to listen in, you got a lot of callers. Yes. Um, a lot of people who love you. And the reason why they love you so much, Jai, is because it's not because you play great music only. It's because you're a wonderful person. Thank you have you a much. you have a great heart, and I know that firsthand because I could <laughs> I could call this guy up anytime and ask him for advice, or if I'm feeling down or despondent, you always have something good to say, or, or encouraging, mm -hmm. and you you would help me anytime you can, yes, and sir. that and that really well, meant my pleasure. You know, it means so and much. I am glad that you're now Caribbean Connections is on Chin TV yeah. and. I wish you and yours big and better things as well. Thank you. But it's going to be hard coming to this building and you're not here. <laughs> well, wow. you know, but I made sure you came in to replace <laughs> me. Right? Right. Very right. good. Thank you. Great. Good night <laughs> and goodbye. Oh, oh, And it's actually 33 years, 33 and years. the ladies brought some champagne, champagne. Oh. a little small spit because, you know, he was working, so we couldn't really engage in that big bottle of activity. A little something on the side is much better. <laughs> I heard none right now. None? None at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm driving. That's right. You. Yes, I just want to say um, thanks to Jai for, you know, the opportunity he's been given so many people in the broadcast industry, you know, myself and uh, quite a few of us. I used to do the uh, Dr. Love show, you know, at nighttime and then probably, you know, play music with him and stuff, bring CDs, whatever. He has given me an opportunity to be in the broadcast world, to get practice, to do different things. And, you know, he's going to be missed uh, by a lot of people. And I just wish him all the best for, on his new endeavor. Whatever he does, you know, he's going to do it well because that's the kind of person he is. So I just want to say again, thanks to Jai. Well, I just want to say uh, congratulations, Jai, on 32 years of broadcasting here at Chin Radio. Uh, Jai has been an inspiration to hundreds of, uh, I should say, not hundreds, but he's, he's been an inspiration to many, many uh, young broadcasters who have gone on to make it uh, in the Toronto market and other markets uh, in Canada. And uh, uh, today is a sad day uh, for many listeners because Jai will no longer be doing this show. But the Caribbean Connection will continue uh, with a new host. Uh, we have yet to see who that's going to be. But uh, I wish Jai all the best in his uh, future endeavors. And uh, I wish him all the best uh, of luck in whatever he does, and uh, as I said, Jai uh, signs off tonight, and uh, this is a sad day. But all the best to Jai. Congratulations, Jai. You're jamming with Jai on the Caribbean Connection 100.7. Yes. <laughs> Boss! Boss! Caribbean Connections TV will bring the Caribbean and its flavors to our viewers in a fresh, vibrant way that will entertain as well as educate. It's your direct connection to the Caribbean experience. Caribbean Connections TV. <laughs> okay, it's on. So, Jai, where are you going? To, have a pee. to get a pee. Let's go. Go, Jai. Too much champagne, Jai. Go, no, Jai, to take a pee. Run now, man. That's the last time you've been taking a pee there, Jai. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank everybody for coming by. You didn't carry me.
connections. Riyadh. <laughs> yeah, I know you wanted to touch my head all day. <laughs> Riyadh, Ghana, Ali Cecily, Rajade. Endless callers. Yeah. Caller. Let me clean up this mess before. When you're a boy scout, you always got to leave your campsite better than when you saw it, when you mm. came into it. And as a boy scout, you got to do that, right? There you go, that's the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is it. We must call it the street. You see the CN Tower from here. You going to miss that view? Yeah, actually, yeah. And we started off across the street, 637 College Street. It used to be called the Green Room Groove Yard. Awesome, Jai. How are you feeling now? You're actually leaving the building. Actually leaving the building. Okay, let's walk a little slowly. Because look around. How does, what's going through your mind right now? Um, on the evenings when I'm here, I'm here alone, literally. Control this building this role and totally in charge and uh, I'm going to miss that, I'm really going to miss that. What are you going to miss most about working here? Um, is the, the freedom to do what I have done for 50 years. Okay. Um, the fact is they have allowed me to be creative in my own way right. and never really interfered in, in, in the programming. But <clears throat> I never took, I didn't abuse it. Right. I, you know, I took the opportunity and made sure the show represented um, not only the Caribbean community, but Chin Radio had its very best. Say goodbye in this elevated tour. <laughs> now to get up here, you have to have a key. Getting down is fine. And I still have the key, so I have to return the key. Oh, that's going to be hard, returning <laughs> the key. Yeah. But, uh, Make a copy. Yes. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, fifth floor, sixth, twenty-two, College Street. Okay. So I want to ask you, what was the, what was the first day that you came in, like, uh, like run that through me. The first day you came here to work, like when you, you I guess you walked through those doors um, over there. No, well, actually, it was opposite this building, the okay. new building. And, um, I came as a student to intern from uh, as a, being a broadcasting student at Humble College. I, uh, I was sent here to intern. And it was like coming home because they had a Caribbean show and they had Caribbean broadcasters who were working here in managerial positions. And they took me under their wings and I was trained by two very, very, very talented broadcasters, professional, in the name of um, Carl Redhead and Jimmy Wong. And, I got their training, and I'm very so proud that I've been trained by them and trained the way they knew radio and the way I liked radio. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, and that's what I tried to um, impart on, on the radio show because one of the things of hosting the Caribbean Connection, I wanted the communities that if they have non Caribbean persons in their home, they must not turn off the radio that they must be proud of what I am playing on the radio and proud of the show. And also to be a good example to the Caribbean kids. That, you know, this is my parents' music, it's my music, and we are very proud of it. Yeah. Yes. If you could change anything or do anything different, would you? Um, in retrospect, no. no. Um, I would have liked more uh, support from the community in terms of financial support. And that's a downfall within our community. You see, yeah. we don't realize what we have until we lose it. I know. And we, in some instances, too, the community feel we have a right to certain things, but no, we don't have a right. Right. And as I always said, on these particular stations, we are on borrowed time. Fortunately and thankfully, Chin has been giving us a time ever since the station came on the air. And I mean, to be doing this for 30 years, 
when other shows were falling by the wayside here at Chin, and f to stick with the Caribbean community, I want to say thanks to Chin Radio and the Lombardi family. Great, thank you, Jai. So we're going to walk you out? Oh. Or? Oh. For the last time. <laughs> For the last time, okay? So we always do it through this back door. Okay. Oh, you go through the back? Yeah. Your is up. No exit after 9 p.m., but I've exited this door sometime 2.30, 3.30 in the morning, making sure I get everything done for my show. <clears throat> and in the back here is where we normally have the engineering vehicles and chin staff over the evening staff, so we get a park here free. And luckily, it's well lighted. <clears throat> so, this is it. You know, so many nights we um, actually, other operators and myself, like Paul, and we stand up out here just talking. Are you serious? <laughs> You're going to miss that, aren't you? Yeah, we, radio people are crazy people. Yeah. Very crazy people. You know? It's like a family. Yeah. And um, people don't, don't understand why you do what you do. Why would you stay up so late? And why would mm -hmm. you, you know, but when you fall in love with something and you have a passion for it, and you, you also, um, you, there's a commitment because the community, you know, it meant so much to them. You know, I just did what I had to do. So, time to move on. <laughs> I see you getting teary-eyed. Is this, it's really hitting you here now um, that you... No, maybe... It'll probably hit next week if when I turn on the radio. Okay. And I'm not on. Yeah, and then you're home on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. So, and I don't know how that feels because even when I'm not on the radio and the show is recorded, as, at least I can tune in. You know, yeah. But it'll be you know, something I have to get used to. Yeah. But it's not like you're dying or anything. You're no, actually going to. No, 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 for no. A, a great experience, you're going, you know, yeah. you're moving on and yes, you're, you're, right. you're doing what and you do best and you're. You have more responsibilities no, actually, now. I, I got an email from my daughter and she said, yeah. great show, Dad, and you're moving on. Yeah, you're moving on. That's what she said. Yeah. You know, so that, that meant a lot. Yes. Because she, she is uh, one of my favorite persons. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Gotta go. <laughs> Thank you, Chai. One last thing. Yeah. Your fans, your supporters, any last thing you'd like to say? Um... No, it, it, in fact, it was a pleasure, and in fact, hearing from them tonight and suddenly realizing what the show meant to so many people, because we grew together. I mean, I was fresh out of radio, and um, I developed my skills, and as they matured, so did I, yes. in terms of my broadcasting skills. And I tried, I tried uh, to present everything, you know, with the live broadcast, the election reports, the carnival reports, um, doing the interviews and, and you know the show is a whole lot of things to a whole lot of people and we had to incorporate that within that period you know and uh, be all things to all people yes you know so I'm happy I did it and I think it, 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 it because I grew up in, a, in an environment where radio had to be everything to everybody in the Caribbean I brought that here Caribbean Connections TV. Buckle your seatbelts. This is going to be an exciting, fantastic, energetic, soul stirring ride. So don't you move. Hey, it's Paradise, and you're watching Caribbean Connections Television, connecting the Caribbean and its people. On today's show, One by One, Hope Belongs to Everyone presents an intimate moment with Lauren Hill. It's like this. Then I have a one-on-one -on -one intimate like chat with Rohan Marley. Life, right? <laughs> you just grow with this 
my performance by Aria Zenyu. And finally, the icing on the cake. Songbird Rika bears her soul on Caribbean Connections Television. Hey, it's Paradise Hendrix of Caribbean Connections Television.